OECS has received a grant from the Norwegian government. The grant is 27 million Norwegian kroner, which is approximately $3 million. And it is for a project titled Building Resilience in the Eastern Caribbean through a reduction of marine litter or REMLIT, stressing on the reduction in marine litter. The World Bank has projected that by 2050, the weight of plastics in the sea will surpass the weight of fish. So that is really sobering. This um, campaign will focus on creating that awareness and really bring into fore that connection between the land and the sea. So the project in itself seeks to reduce that level of pollution that would end up on our oceans and subsequently um, contribute to marine litter. This is a, a very important uh, priority for us to ensure that we deal with the issue of pollution, um, one of them being plastic pollution. There are several beneficiary countries. The countries are Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Under the REMLIT, we are working with the participating states to strengthen uh, the legal frameworks. And um, we have been engaging with the, the member states, the focal point, the solid waste management agencies and, and other ministries and, and other partners to develop um, tangible interventions in addition to that, we are looking at how uh, we can incentivize the private sector to become involved. It's extremely important to get um, private sector on board, non-governmental agencies on board, um, schools on board, um, basically every, everybody, because everybody has a part to play. We have to um, deal with it from the perspective of the, the source of the pollution. And yes, we do have uh, marine pollution happening from the marine space itself in terms of from, from, from ships, etc. But uh, in terms of um, the land-based sources of pollution, this is critical. We have noticed that unplanned developments um, present a particular problem where because vehicles cannot provide a curbside service, we are forced to place communal bins and collection points which are vulnerable to indiscriminate dumping and abuse. Our proposal was to implement a source separation program in a, 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 a community that is affected by marine pollution. Um, we're looking at a zero waste in the Kalinago territory. Um, this is the part of the island, um, which is on the eastern part of the island where the Kalinago, the indigenous people of the island, basically reside. And it is to help us improve on the waste management service that we offer. One country is actually looking at using plastics, for example, in the construction industry. And the research there is new for this country, but it is one of the areas that they are interested in under the national comp component. As you seek to move and accelerate towards uh, a blue economy, a more sustainable ocean economy, the whole issue of plastic pollution is one that is urgent and, and imperative that we, we get on the country. Research has put it that about 85% of these, the sewage produced by our countries in, in the Caribbean region is untreated. That the raw waste gets into the marine environment, which damages coral, which affects the, the very health of, of the sea for recreation, for, for fish and, and other activities. There's a role for each of us to play, to examine our businesses, to examine our, our individual actions, to examine our households, to examine our policies as, 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 a, as a country, to, to determine, you know, how can we change these behaviors. Education has to be ongoing. You cannot complete it at the implementation or the first implementation of the program because uh, people will forget. If you don't have public buy-in, um, it will not work. Every decision that we that we make, whether it be the way we dispose of, of that of that cup, that um, that that uh, plate, that plastic bag, or even in some cases, you know, some of the the chemicals that we use for agriculture, you know, these all eventually end up 
in the waterways, whether it's through the rivers, through runoff, you know, or other means, and impact um, significantly the marine space. So you manage your system from the ridge of, of the island all the way out into the sea.